All right, in this video audio recording, I want to talk about some of the sins that I've had to deal with growing up, sins that I had to struggle with during my youth, teenage years, and young adult life. I don't know how long this video audio recording is going to be, but I'm going to go over some of these uh, sins so that you could better relate to me. Scripture says that if we confess our sins, uh, the prime creator is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Um, if you're sensitive to some of the things I'm going to say, you may not want to listen until you feel you are strong enough to listen without being provoked and steered in the wrong direction. All right? I don't like to just get on here and talk just to talk and just to make a conversation, make a video because I haven't put one out in who knows how long. No, this is serious. Okay, These are things that people struggle with. Uh, my sins may not be as great as others, but uh, I'm sure some of you could relate, all right? And in the spirit of confession, I want to reveal these things to you, the listener and viewer of this video slash audio. All right, so I want you to get to know me more personally. And like I said, I'm transparent. I don't got nothing to hide. I wish people would ask me about my past, but, you know, they're not going to do that because they know that they do that. I'll ask them about their life, and most people nowadays are involved in some type of sin, a uh, large sin, that they're having a hard time overcoming. So, of course, they're not going to open up to me like I would open up to you or them. All right, so anyways, with that being said, I want to be as transparent as possible. To you, the listener and viewer of this video audio recording, okay? Uh, you're not going to get this from all other individuals because most beings and souls, uh, they like to sweep their garbage under the rug and, you know, give you a facade that they've changed when in reality they haven't changed. They're just faking it in hopes of making it. But anyways, here we go. All right, since that I had to struggle with and deal with growing up, sexual sins, uh, other tendencies and behaviors, mannerisms that have been plaguing me or were plaguing me, not so much now. Uh, the things I have to deal with now are minute, very small, almost insignificant. Uh, but growing up, yeah, I had to deal with different types of uh, ways of being and I'll explain why at the end of this video audio recording all right so let's begin with the sexual sins all right I had my sexual experience for the first time at six years of age I don't know what was going on in my mind during that time uh, yeah very early huh and I started making out at the age of 11 12 13 uh, 14 years of age. I think that year I was off. I don't recall any um, sexual mannerisms of any kind, uh, kissing, touchy feeling, none of that. I think that was my off year. And then again at 15, 16, 17, 18 years of age, that was another off year. 19, then 20 was another off year. 21, 22, and 23. Okay. At 23 years of age, that I had my last uh, sexual uh, experience, all right? And, yeah, in this life, I've been with six different women, all right? That's it. I don't have a long list. I don't have a lot of mileage in the tank, as they say. Uh, as I stated previously, my last sexual experience was six years ago. I've been celibate for six years now, going on seven. And yeah, I made more love to my right hand than women. I've gotten to uh, second and third base uh, six different times. Grew up in the hood, roamed with the gang and all that. I was rebellious, didn't walk in obedience to the Torah, the commandments, or my earthly parents. I never really got into the party lifestyle and all that. That wasn't me. Never did like the limelight. Uh, I smoked weed. I tried weed. Didn't like it. Don't like the smell of it. Last time I tried it was about 10 years ago or so. I drink once in a while, not often. 
I'm not an alcoholic or a drunkard, but sometimes I do need a drink. So yeah, I'm not as innocent as most think. All right, and and you know I never consider myself a goody two shoes, but definitely doing a lot better than most right now, as far as uh, my morals go. Anyways, I smoke cigarettes. All right, didn't like them. Uh, I've done hookah. I tried that, which is like flavored smoke you inhale from like this big jar looking thingy with extensions to smoke out of. That wasn't that bad compared to smoking uh, cigars, cigarettes, or even weed. I didn't really get into anything higher than weed. Things such as crack, cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, PCP, angel dust, opium, etc. I view that as extreme forms of drugs that make you look bad. Like people with serious problems will go above weed. Like if you feel like weed doesn't do it for you, I look at it like you got some serious problems basically. I struggled with porn growing up for a few years until I found out about the transsexuals there, the tears that are involved in the industry, the reprobates, uh, successful, you know. I've stolen stuff when I was younger, yeah. I was selling weed and crack as a teenager, but that didn't last. I felt bad. I thought it was wrong, so I stopped. I was like, I can't be serving uh, the neighborhood crack and all that. That That's just, I, I felt bad, you know. I had to stop and think about it, so I decided to stop doing it. I've been arrested a few times as a juvenile, misdemeanors. Um, basically, I was a petty criminal, all right. Uh, yeah, but as far as my criminal record goes and my sins go, they're nothing compared to the idiots involved with this matrix, though. <laughs> so that that much is certain. I also once tried to crack a police officer's windshield of his truck with a brick. I don't like the police, these Gentile Edomite cops, because they once locked me up unjustly. They found a gun and they put it on me. So I had to get locked up unjustly for a while. But that was when I first began my uh, spiritual experience. I received the New Testament, and I think that's when my life started turning around. Uh, it's unfortunate that I had to get locked up unjustly, but hey, I, uh, you know, I received the word, and I think maybe that was the catch. You know, I gotta, I gotta get done wrong to receive a greater uh, good, uh, an inheritance, a future, and that was through the scriptures. As bad as they are, there's still some good stuff in it. Anyways. I cuss here and there, as you can tell in some of my video audio recordings. And a lot of the cuss words that we've been accustomed to thinking are bad, they're really not bad. I made videos about that. Not saying that cussing is good because a lot of people think that certain cuss words are bad, but that's because their conscious has been programmed that way. They're in the 3D mindset, so they think different than people above that 3D mindset. Anyways, I'm vegetarian, but... Even then, I have a tendency to overeat or to not eat accordingly. I can eat too much grease sometimes and not enough vegetables. Don't drink enough water sometimes. So my diet could be a lot better, a lot a lot more discipline to go into my diet. All right. Now, I want to talk about the spiritual side of things. Why I was this way growing up. Basically, what was going on with me is this, uh, I was under the Deuteronomy 28 curses, okay? The 3D mind, the carnal mind. And now looking back, I under and understand what was going on with me, okay? So basically when you're under the curses, you're operating a 3D carnal mind, all right? That you're put under. So you go through these experiences and basically if you feel sorry for them, if you, if you feel sorry for what you're doing, you're repenting, then, you know, you're... you're you uh, get set free from that uh, low vibrating 3D carnal mind that you're under. You receive a 4D dimensional mindset, 5D, even 6D, some of us 7D, 8, 9, 10. There's different levels to this, you know. But people that don't want to change or can't change, they get stuck in there. They're stuck in their ways, you know, just going in circles. And part of it has to do with this matrix that coaxes us to, you know, to do evil every, every way you turn. It appeals to our lower nature, our carnal nature. And unless you're strong enough, like I am now, a lot of the stuff that out here that tempts you or that is considered bad will affect you. Um, 
and you know it took me years to to you know get to this level i'm 30 years of age now i just turned 30 um but yeah it was a uh, man it took years it took a lot of years man I, w I wouldn't say 30 years but yeah most of my life i would say like out of the 30 years that i've been in this suit flesh flesh and blood suit i would say about i don't know 25 24 years out of my whole life in this flesh and blood suit i had to struggle with the 3d mindset so i only had very few years of rest uh even now it seems like you go from one one issue to another now it's not so much uh dealing with the flesh now i'm dealing with uh spiritual issues you know uh spiritual issues on a higher level with uh yeah those would-be manipulators that are um costing a lot of us souls out here to be ensnared in the garbage that's around us you know there's so many delusions out here uh, people have no idea um so yeah those are just some of my struggles growing up i'm sure some of you could relate um basically i gave you as much detail as i possibly could and i don't know if that was enough for some of you but yeah, if you want to, you know, pause the video, go back or restart the video and listen in again to some of the stuff I share with you, that's fine. But it's it's not that long. I I actually had to sit down and think about some of these things. Like, what, what are my, some of my tendencies still? Um, I can't think of anything else other than what I shared with you. If I do, then I might make another video about this. But for now, that's it. Um, just keep in mind that the scripture says that if we confess our sins to one another, you know, we're doing a, a good. And I don't think I've sat down and made a video about this. I've been wanting to for years now. I think like a year after I started making videos on here, back in 2013, maybe it was 2014. I felt convicted 2014, 2015 to start like start sharing a little more about myself. It's, I'm sorry it's taking this long, but. It's just there's, there's bigger issues than my sins because my sins aren't really as, as great as some of you would have probably thought or think they are. And if they were, I think I would have gotten them out a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's other stuff that needs to be addressed than this. But anyways, I'm just sharing this with you. Uh, I'm sure some of you could relate. Uh, there's a lot of scripture that's you know tells us that uh, you're not a finished product, you know. If you're trying to do good and, and you have a little bit of faith and you can adjust to the change, changes taking place, there's enough help out there in the universe that will help you uh, overcome whatever sin you're you're struggling with, okay. And me, I, I got to be real, you know. I keep it real, you know. People sense that I'm being false and times are fake, but that's because I keep things to myself because I know that if I open up, a lot of them ain't going to be able to handle what I have to say to them or they're not going to be able to handle the comparisons between me and them. And I don't compare myself to others. I'm just saying, like, you know, there's a lot of beings out there that are seeking ascension and transformation, uh, cheating the Matrix, you know. They, they haven't really changed. You got beings out there in, like, uh, lower realms, higher realms, that really, they're the same. They haven't changed. And yet they want to act like they're our overseers or something, like they deserve our praise, worship, and recognition. Uh-uh. Even those that don't sin, even the, the perfect that are allowing all this garbage to go on here, you know, their, their experimenting has gone wrong. And uh, they need to be addressed, and I think I will address them at some point. But first, I need to expose them. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm sure some of you can relate to some of the stuff I had to deal with. Um, we're all human, but the thing is, you got to change, you got to transform and renew your mind the way you think. You got to purify your mind, your body, inside out, uh, most, mostly inside. Mostly, you know, not, don't worry so much about the outside because that, that could be molded. But your inside needs to be um, rearranged and remolded and everything, of course. And uh, you want to hang around other like-minded individuals that will help you uh, elevate yourself spiritually because there's a lot of 3D-minded individuals going to and fro and they're not going to do nothing for you. If you're aiming at eternal life, salvation, and all that, 
But if you like the ways of the world, the material world, then hey, just stay on a carnal mind and uh, keep operating in falsehood. All right. So anyways, that's it for this video auto recording. I hope you found it informative, enlightening. Uh, it's not that long. But I might have to make another one if I feel that I didn't share everything with you. I couldn't think of anything else. Um, before I put this video out. But anyways, yeah, um, just continuing the faith. Um, if you're struggling with something, just know that uh, I am will help you um, overcome whatever it is you're struggling with if you do your part, right? And don't fake it in hopes of making it because you will be exposed and the repercussions will be... Um, greater because you know when you do dirt trying to cover up stuff you leave a trail and you know individuals like myself are excellent at detec detecting bs and anyways um yeah these are the, the things that people really want to change like the small stuff and, and like people you know the little small small little lies and st little bs stuff like that that people just do to shame you and trying to make you feel bad that's not important the main issues are the, 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 the main sins that the scriptures describe and talk about, okay? And that's really what needs to be addressed. Uh, the small stuff, it's not good either, but it's just like, you know, you're just looking to pick at something. But uh, these are things that are, I, I feel, uh, major and need to be addressed. Again, it's nothing compared, though, to what a lot of these uh, dull creatures and, and reprobates out here in existence are involved with you know and a lot of them ha are authorized to to do things even though they themselves are involved in uh crime maybe not high level crime but crime nevertheless uh to a greater extent than some of us down here so anyways that's it i'm not gonna ramble too much i said what i needed to say much love till next time peace <laughs>